Okay, students, I didn't get to do a presentation on uh, the pencil, which of course is the premier uh, material that we use in art, but I did want to do a lesson on that. I only got to one class on this, so I'm going to post this video for all of you so we can move on. Of course, the many uses of the pencil. And this here is a standard um, pencil kit a for artistic wise. And what you have in here is you have all of these types of pencils. You'll have a whole set here. And then all of these cool things on the other side. So what you have is um, on a pencil, Most pencils come with a, a little number and a letter that will be right here. Now, it usually say this, the pencils that we use in school for writing and on exams is usually a number two HB. The H stands for hard and the B stands for black. So the higher the number, um, two would be right in the middle. That's why we use it. The higher the number, of course, the more the H or the B is. So this is 6B, which means that this will make a pretty dark mark on your paper. So the softer the lead, the, the darker that the graphite in the pencil is going to be. Now, if you go to the other end, you have, it's right here, I have a, uh, let's see, that's 8B, 8B should be over here. If you go to the other end, you have a 5H. So that means that this is going to be, the lead is very hard, and the harder it is, the lighter the mark is going to be. And as you can see, this is the, um, the 5H right here. So this kind of pencil, the lighter it is, you would use for sketching because it's going to be easy to erase. The darker your lead, um, the harder that that would be. Now, you also will have in a pencil box your charcoal pencils, which this is just, it's charcoal, but in a pencil form, so it's easier to hold and you don't get your fingers as messy. And of course you have soft, you have three degrees of this, soft, medium, and hard. So that's the things that you need to know about the pencil. That's what the pencil rating is. It's usually H for hard, B for black, right in the middle would be HB, which is like the perfect amount of uh, hardness and darkness. And then the numbers as they go up, it increases in whatever that it, it indicating uh, sign is. So over on the other side, what you have in a basic pencil kit. Um, this, of course, right here is, is a knife. Um, and what this would do is you could use this to um, sharpen your lead though uh, this pencil kit also did come with a regular pencil sharpener but this would could chisel off and also you could <coughs> use this to um this would be better for your your charcoal pencils to chisel it down to a fine point because the lead would break very easily these and you have three different sizes of these in here as well these are called tortillions, and what they are is this is extremely tightly rolled paper that's pressed into this form, and you use this for smudging. So if you want to blend out your pencil marks and make it very, very smooth, that is what this is for. It's called a tortillion. Then you also have um, this is a pencil holder. So what you would do 
is this would allow you to get farther back. You could put your pencil in here and it would allow you to get farther back from your drawings. So if you were sketching, you could stand back farther and sketch holding your pencil. And a lot of your sign artists learn to do to, to draw that way. Also, you will have um, you have actual just regular pieces of charcoal, and these are also in soft, medium, and hard. Now the sandpaper. What you use the sandpaper for basically is um, you will use it to. Uh, get a finer point on the charcoal. So you could use the sandpaper to actually get this down to a very, very fine point because, the, of course, it doesn't sharpen. And that's what you would use this for. And most art kits do have sandpaper in them. Um, and then you, of course, because it is pencil, what you have, you have a, an actual eraser to erase your marks. And if this is a white eraser, um, because they're, they work better for art, art pencils. This is a kneaded eraser. Now, I have not uh, taken this out of the pack yet. But what you do with a kneaded eraser, I don't think I'm going to get it out of here. Let me see. What you do with a kneaded eraser, and it's just like for any of you that cook when you knead dough, um, the, the meaning of that word is that it, you can compress it into smaller pieces. What this eraser will do is you can pull this apart and you can make a very, very, very small tip or point with this eraser and you can pull uh, your pencil marks off. So if you really wanted to go in and do a highlight on an eye, and it was very, very, you, you got it too dark, you needed a highlight, you could take this eraser and get it very, very fine and just basically touch the eye and pull the, the lead off. And that is what this is for, this is used for, it's called a kneaded eraser, and they're very, very nice to have in an art kit. And I'm just going to put that back in the spot there. Um, and basically, that is your whole pencil kit. Now, the one thing that this uh, kit does not include, but that your charcoal pencils are pretty dark, and it might be, this is your very, very dark graphite pencil, which uh, they're usually... Um, called ebony pencils and I love ebony pencils because you can get really 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 dark with an ebony pencil that's what you would do your cast shadows with so that is the pencil kit and um, when you could when I you come back to school I may give you just a little tiny uh, refresher quiz on this um, these are very nice to have if you are you really love to draw. You have all the access to all these different kinds of pencil leads and stuff. And that concludes our media star of the month, which is the pencil. See you later.